action. Hi everyone. I'm back. Welcome to Granny Deb's. Okay, now we made the pudding cookies. As you can see, I did up a few batches of these using the uh, white cake mix. Now we're going to do it the old fashioned way without a cake mix. And it's really easy. The first step I did was I had to put three fourths cups of butter, one and a half cups of sugar in this, and I had to mix it up really, really well for about four or five minutes till it was um, light and fluffy. And um, that I'm going to make later, but um, let me show you. Besides the three fourths cups of butter, and the one and a half cups of sugar, I also used one fourth cup of this Crisco shortening. Okay, and you want to put that in your stand mixer and you want it nice and fluffy. It'll take about four minutes. Okay, and I showed you what it looks like light and fluffy. All right, now what we're going to do, put it back on, we're going to add two eggs to it. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a teaspoon of almond extract. I love almond. It's really good in the sugar cookies too. Okay, and then we're going to add 3.4 ounces of the vanilla instant pudding and pie filling. Okay, dump that right in there. All right, then you're going to mix that up really well. And while that's mixing up, we're going to take our flour, we're going to dump uh, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt in with it, one teaspoon of bacon powder, we're going to whisk that up good into the flour, let me just set these over here, okay, so we have two and a half cups of flour, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, salt one teaspoon of bacon powder. We're going to add this to the wet mixture. Okay. You want to make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl. So everything incorporates really good. Okay. Look at that. Another mix. over. Get out all the cookie dough you can. All right, that's good. All right. And as you can see, that's what it looks like, okay? Now what I like to do is what you're gonna do is make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I put a little water in a bowl and I just dip my fingers in it and I go just like this on the whole length of my hand. Very, very lightly wet it, okay? And then you wanna take about a tablespoon of the dough and roll it in a ball. And the reason why you lightly wet your hands because if you don't, then it's gonna stick a little bit. Then just like this, roll it into a nice shaped ball, okay? And then just throw it in some sprinkles, whatever color sprinkles you got, 
okay? And just move it around like that in the bowl. Spray a baking sheet. I like to use that Pam Bacon Spray, okay? And then there's one, you set it on there. And after you get them all done, whatever colored sprinkles, you wanna put them in, space them about two inches apart. And then you're gonna bake it. Ooh, I'd start checking on it in about 10, 11 minutes. But I wouldn't let it go past maybe 13. You'll be able to tell when they're done. They're gonna start puffing up. Let me show you how some of these look. So you put them in as a ball and they're gonna puff up, okay? And that's all there is to it. And then in a few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to make a really fast appetizer. And you can stick it in the freezer and have it whenever you want it during the busy month of December. Okay, everybody, you have a great day. We'll see you in a while. Take care, God bless, bye-bye. Cut.